Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about construction fasteners, screws and legs and that kind of thing. Um, if you find this information useful, will you please click that subscribe button? And if you want to be notified every time uh, we put out new content, click the bell icon as well. All right. So this is a uh, these fasteners. We've been using a lot of a company called Fasten Master, and we really like their products. Uh, they have a really solid reputation. They're they meet all above and beyond all building code standards for their uh, construction fasteners. And they also sell a line of screws that we use quite a bit as well. I don't have all of their products here today. I'm just going to show you the four most used products that we have in our trailer at all times. And I'm going to start with the Fasten Master Guard Dog Screws. These are a three and a half inch length. They come in multiple different lengths. It has a uh, combo head in it. So it's like a Phillips and a square drive all in one. So you could use a Phillips. You can use a square drive bit, or they come with these special bits that you can use as well. All right, so obviously they fit right in the top of the screw. They work really well. They have a little bit of a grip on the bit, so they'll kind of hold themselves. They're not magnetic, but uh, they still kind of hold up fairly well when you're using them. And we primarily use these type of screws in our construction where we might do a lot of different type of blocking or we're, we need to fasten something like a joist down to a beam and we're usually using nails but maybe we're temping something together. Um, sometimes I'll run these and they have a corrosion resistance to them so for CCA and pressure treated materials, not a problem. Uh, I've never had one snap. I have stripped a few heads. Um, what I like to use, like I said before, was just a straight square drive. Um, these bits are okay but I, I find a little bit better for using impact rated number two square drive bit. All right, so they have different lengths, I think from like two inches up to three and a half. So check out their Instagram account, at Fasten Master Pro, okay? Now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about some of the heavy duty construction fasteners. Some of these are vital to our industry and they're vital to my business. If, if I hang a ledger on the side of a house and it falls off, I'm in big trouble. So I use a lot of this product right here. We use a ton of these. These are called ledger locks. This is their new flathead version of the ledger lock. It's a T40 bit star drive and it has a little um, nub on the end that fits into, it's kind of a proprietary system. So, but you can still use a standard T40 in here. It's not gonna affect anything. These bits work great as well. Um, but you get a really great drive with this bit and this mating of this uh, fastener. There's also a little bit of a cutting head on the underside of the fastener. So it helps dig into the lumber a little bit better. No pre-drilling is required on these. Sometimes we do pre-drill for in knots or things like that. But I use these religiously. I hang every ledger of every deck on every house with this brand, with this product. It has never failed me, and I doubt it will. It's um, code compliant and rated, and you can check out all that stuff on their webpage. Or you can hit them up through their uh, Instagram page and ask questions there as well. So I'll be driving these into some timber in a minute, but I'm just going to get through all of the uh, fasteners first, okay? So these come in a three and five eighth inch length and also a five inch length. This will replace a one half inch lag bolt that goes into a ledger. So I'm in, these look cool too when they're installed, all right? All right, here we have some headlocks. Um, that's a four and a half inch. So headlock comes in some different lengths from like two and a half, three, four and a half, uh, six. So they're all the same. Now, I call these a spider drive because they have a spider drive head. These are similar to the ledger locks, but you'll notice they're a little bit thinner in size. So th I use these primarily when I'm fastening timber together. I'm using these when I'm anchoring something to something else, when I'm putting a ledger to a house, when I'm installing a Regal Ideas rail pod down to the deck, or if I'm putting aluminum railing in, I use this. This is... is 
still structural, but not as structural as this, okay? So this is a little bit lighter than a Timberlock and there's more variance in lengths. You can get different lengths of this product where the, the uh, ledger locks only come in those two lengths. These come in multiple lengths. I have some two and a halves, which are kind of handy when you're screwing together three inch stuff. Um, what other, I can't remember all the lengths. They have a lot of stuff. You can check out their webpage and get all the information. But again, kind of a proprietary bit. Now this one, if you lose these bits, you're in trouble because there's nothing you can go buy at a home center or at your local lumber yard unless they carry Fasten Master brand that's gonna fit into this spider drive. But I gotta say, they did it for a reason because it grabs and it, it attaches and it drives. And I'll show you guys that again in a few minutes on our, our sample treated lumber, okay? So there's the bit. That's what that looks like. Another cool thing, these are cool for finishing off projects because they have a unique look and they're black. So you can finish them off and have, uh, if you're looking to do something that's gonna be exposed, that you're gonna be using for a trellis or maybe something, a, a project where you want something that looks really nice, this is a great way to finish off that timber, okay? Now, Probably the one we use the most is called a timber lock. It has a 5 16th inch hex head as well. This is a four inch version. Here's the bit, here's the screw. They go together like this, all right? So the reason I like these a lot is because if I had my choice to use either a screw, these have their time and place, yes. This is structural. This is not. So I can anchor something with this and know I'm getting a better bite and that it'll hold better and it's a little bit beefier, but sometimes you blow things apart when you're using big fasteners like this and we go down to a screw. It just depends on what the application is. But these timber locks, we use a lot when we're assembling flat blocking, things where we're screwing uh, like a flat block through a joist in, and we want some structural stability to that block. We'll use this product. Works very well for that. Uh, it's a minimal intrusion, so you're not creating a larger opening like, let's say, the ledger lock. Sometimes I use these to fasten things together too, but you can kind of see in comparison the size of the heads. All right. So that's kind of an explanation of what each product is. Again, this is also black. It could be used. Um, I've had a lot of luck with these staying that color that they don't bleed and they look really good in finish work. So if you want to pre-drill, set the depth, that kind of thing, then this fastener might be the answer for you. So that's a quick explanation on the brand and about the product. A lot of local lumber yards can get this. I always, always, always order in bulk because you get a better price. I'm constantly using this stuff. Some of this stuff I know you can get at Home Depot in smaller packs, and sometimes they sell in the buckets as well. But um, I'm always ordering from my local lumber yard and I'm always getting a bucket or two buckets or whatever I need. All right, so this is a Fasten Master three and a half inch guard dog screw. I'm running into some pressure treated hemlock with a triple hammer, uh, Metabo HPT triple hammer impact driver. So there you go. You can see how clean it cuts in, fits, sits neatly into the timber. All right. So lickety splits, those go in pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna take a Fasten Master ledger lock and the T40 bit and I'm gonna run it. And every time I do this, I'm putting a new hole in the timber. I'm not running back into this, the same hole, okay? Nice and clean. Okay, now I'm gonna run a four and a half inch uh, Fasten Master headlock screw with the spider drive into pressure treated hemlock. And at last, but certainly not least, Fasten Master's Timberlock four inch screw into treated hemlock. So you can either leave the head subset out, but usually we drive them a little deeper than that. So they completely flush out. All right, guys, well, that's a brief rundown on some of the fasteners we use on the job site. Again, check out Facet Master or Facet Master Pro on Instagram. 
If you like what you saw or if you found this video useful, please click that subscribe button, tell your friends, share it around, and click the bell icon if you want to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you.